Welcome back to my channel. First things first, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. I want to talk about the power of habits. So lately I have been working on creating healthy habits or healthier habits and being very conscious of the things that I'm doing. And so in doing so, I have recognized some of my own habits and those around me and I've realized that we have become and we live at such a, a comfort level that brings us a sense of contentment that we stop pursuing our dreams because we're, we're just comfortable and so because we're comfortable we stop pursuing the things that we want that were once important or they're still important to us but we forget they're important because we are comfortable. Les Brown states and I'm going to read it from my phone the graveyard is the richest place on earth because it is here that you will find the hopes and dreams that were never fulfilled the books that were never written the songs that were never sung the inventions that were never shared the cures that were never discovered all because someone was too afraid, too afraid to take that first step, keep that problem, or determine to carry out their dreams. I've been listening to Les Brown every morning while I'm getting ready. Specifically, I've been listening to his speech at the Georgia Dome. So every day for the past two weeks, I've been listening to that specific speech, yet every day I am taking something different away, I'm hearing something different, or I'm hearing it in a different way, and I'm becoming more and more motivated to pursue my dreams. And recognizing the power of habits, we have to understand that consistency is key because these things that we're working on are not yet a habit, we're trying to make them a habit and we're trying to recognize the habits that we have that are maybe not so healthy or that are not useful to us. In the book The Power of Habits by Charles Duhigg he talks about habits in a three-step loop which is cue, routine, reward. In the book it also talks about um, if you want to change a habit or maybe you just need to alter it it says that you simply just change one part of the loop which is the routine breaking down the three-step loop the first step is the cue so the cue is whatever whatever it is whatever that something is that triggers the routine so for example i want to get up every day before work and pour into myself work on some of my personal goals before i go into my nine to five so the second step in the loop is the routine so the routine is behavior that you automatically engage in for example in order for me to get up and listen to listen to a motivational speech by les brown every morning i have to physically get out of bed turn on the light turn on my speaker, connect my phone to the Bluetooth, find the podcast or the speech, this one happens to be on YouTube, type it in and then physically push play. Step three is the reward and the reward is what you receive for completing the routine. For example, gaining knowledge, clarity and getting motivated for listening to personal development every morning is my reward for physically getting up out of the bed and pushing play and creating that daily routine. So the power in creating healthy habits is that we are able to regularly do things without consciously thinking about them. They just are second nature to us. We went to see Tyler Perry's farewell play this week and you want to talk about confirmation and the power of habits this man literally started from the bottom and worked his way to the top and no matter the rejections he got no matter if he failed if he fell on his face if he didn't have any money he kept on pushing and if you've seen his early plays he didn't have nothing like that's how Medea was created like it was a one-man show he was doing his thing but as he was doing that he was also giving other people opportunities and once he grew he didn't stop giving those opportunities and he didn't stop sewing into other people and he created this routine 
this routine of pushing to the next level and continuing to pursue his dreams and now those things have become hat and watching Tyler Perry and Tamla Mann and David Mann and Cassie Davis you could tell like obviously they're the vets on stage they're they've been putting work in they've created this routine which has become a habit which is acting um, and they were off the script on so many occasions and we wouldn't have known unless they had said something because it was that much of a habit to them. So going to see Tyler Perry's play this week had nothing to do with my habits, um, but it's crazy how God shows you different things in different ways and through different people because in watching that play, I became so motivated and it pushed me even more to pursue the things that were important to me because I'm sitting here watching this man who started from playing this character who people made fun of him and you know what he kept on pushing and he did not let other people's opinions define who he is and he kept on pushing and now look where he is like he's doing his thing and he's doing his thing and he's sharing it with everybody else i say all that to say that the power of habits is crucial and it allows us to do something without consciously having to think about it. We're doing things and they're just becoming second nature. And in doing things and they just becoming second nature and not having to overly think about it, we're able to continue to grow and move to that next step. So I hope you're able to gain something from this quick video about the power of habits. Remember, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video.